Five children aged between 12 and 14 have been arrested on suspicion of murder after an 80-year-old man died following an assault in a park in Braunstone Town in Leicestershire. The pensioner has been named as Bim Sen Kohli. He died in hospital last night after he was assaulted. Well, joining me now is Sky's Becky Cottrell. Um, Becky, what more can you tell us about this attack? Well, yeah, we know that he was walking his dog, that that was something he did on a daily basis, and that the attack happened um, near to the entrance of the park near to which he lived, which would suggest either he'd just set off on his walk or he was just coming back. And it really is shocking to hear the age of those that have been arrested. Um, a boy and a girl aged 14 uh, and a boy and two girls aged 12. And we spoke to a neighbour of Mr Senkoli's who said that he'd spoken to the family and they said um, that he had sustained some kind of serious neck injury. But at this point, the police haven't put any more details out about what happened in that attack or how Mr Senkoli um, was injured. We also found out from his neighbour a few more details about him. Um, he was originally from India but had lived here for decades. We heard that he was a family man, that he had uh, two, three children, sorry, and also grandchildren, um, and that he was very fit and used to spend a lot of time on his allotment. And you can hear a bit more uh, from that neighbour who was talking about his friend, Mr Senkoli. He is a very good man. Very quiet, very jolly. So he's all right. He never had any problem, never heard anything, shouting anything like that. Yeah, he's a family man. Yeah, he was a very nice man. Yeah, very nice. It's been really shocking what happened, you know. No, I never thought, you know, it would happen like this. It's always, always, this is a busy park. I never thought they might do this thing like this. And we've been speaking to people who live around here who are very shocked, as you would expect, by this, but also now fearful for their own safety. You know, this is a park where a lot of people will go out and walk their dogs, um, particularly the elderly around here. They are now uh, afraid to go out, and really they're looking for more answers from the police as to what exactly happened. Becky, thank you.